Hey guys, so today I filmed a weekend night routine, kind of combating with the morning routine. So this is my outfit and let's get started. So today I was coming home from a study day I had with my friends and usually the first thing I do is just light a candle because I like my room smelling like good shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So usually after I light my candle, I'll go ahead and take my makeup off because at that point I'm just really, really tired of having it on my face. Tell me what to do. Cause everything you say is true. I'm feeling this, this So here I'm just taking my shoes off and I'm gonna pick out my pajamas that I'm gonna be wearing that night. And I went and chose some Rudolph ones, so yeah. So the next thing I do is head to my bathroom and I just go ahead and take all the bobby pins out of my hair and take my hair down. thing I do is just grab some towels for my shower and I know my hair look a hot mess. <laughs> Here I'm just turning the shower on. Obviously it's got to be piping hot because I'm sick. Then I just go ahead before my shower and I brush my hair out. Now I'm just going to show you some stuff that's in my shower. I use the Maui shampoo and conditioner for dry and damaged hair. Sometimes I use um, Tresemme shampoo to really get the shit out of my hair. And then I use this Equate acne thing for my acne. And then Pure Silk shaving cream for when I shave. Once I'm done and out of the shower, I'll just walk into my room and start doing my after shower routine. Start off by putting lotion on, obviously, because I don't want to be dry. Then I'll go ahead and clean my ears out with Q-tips and put on deodorant. Then I just go ahead and start combing out my hair and then what I'll do is I'll part it down the middle as you can see I'm doing here and usually I'll end up putting some argan oil on the ends and comb it out and then once I'm done doing that I'll do like these little makeshift um twists or whatever to kind of get my hair into its wave pattern and then i'll end up scrunching it and making sure that it's all dry so this is just me doing what i said before and i'm sorry if you heard my mom laughing in the last voiceover <laughs> But I decided I wanted to keep it because I'm sick right now. And I don't really feel like redoing all the voiceovers. So I'm sorry about that, but I thought it was kind of funny, so it's okay. This is me doing that makeshift um, lazy ass twist out that I was talking about before. <laughs> Here, I'm just taking this Ion Styling Curl Cream and I just put it in my hair to like keep it refreshed and make it not so frizzy and stuff for the next morning. Then I just go ahead and do this pineapple hairstyle thing and it's supposed to keep your curls intact and less frizzy overnight. So that's what I'm doing here. Next 
thing I do is put on this face mask. And I actually had just bought this one. It's like a acne purifying peel off black mask and i actually wasn't really impressed with it at first but then i felt my skin and it actually felt pretty good so i was pretty much impressed I left that mask on for 20 minutes and while I was doing that I just did some studying and work on my MacBook because I needed to study for some tests I was taking the following week and basically I was just doing that. I also wanted to mention that sometimes I use these Biore charcoal pore strips for my nose and I use these 7th Heaven peel off masks also. Here, I'm freaking out because the mask would not come off. Like, I could not get my nail up under it and I couldn't, like, peel it. So, I was like, what the heck is going on? So, I eventually got it off, of course. But some parts I had to wash off, which is why I said that I wasn't very impressed with the product. But after I felt my skin, I realized that it was probably worth it. It was just a little temperamental. So, yeah. The next thing I'm doing is using this teeth whitening charcoal dust stuff. It's basically the stuff you see on Instagram where you like dip your toothbrush in the charcoal powder and you just brush your teeth and it's like really black and then you wash it out and your teeth are supposedly like way whiter so I tried it out and I think it actually worked. I've been using it for like a couple weeks now so I would recommend this product and by the way I got all of these on Amazon for the record. Nothing gets me lifted like you do. So Here I'm just rinsing it out and don't be scared if you try it and like all the black shit gets everywhere because it's actually really easy to wash away. It's just you just pour water on it or wipe it and it'll come off easily. So yeah. After I use the charcoal powder, I just brush my teeth with my regular toothbrush and toothpaste just to make sure I kind of get all the black residue out of my mouth. After that, I just use this Noxzema deep cleansing cream to wash my face and I leave it on for like two to three minutes after I just evenly distribute it. And honestly, I think that this is probably the savior of my skin. So I really recommend this product and you can just get it at Walmart for literally like $3 or something like that. Like it's the best product. You should try it. <laughs> Laugh my ass off. Here's me fucking up real quick. <laughs> The last things I do is use this clear seal spot treatment just to put on some any trouble areas that I can dry out overnight. Then I usually go ahead and meditate. I didn't show it, but it really helps me clear my mind before I try to sleep. Last thing I do before bed is usually read a book. Right now I'm reading this poem book and I have my aesthetic lights on and it's just a vibe to be honest. <laughs> Then I go ahead and I turn my main lamp off and I just chill for a little bit, listen to some music, kind of get calm. Then I just go to sleep and that's my weekend night routine. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. <laughs>